in this video, we're going to control the uh, fan. Again, right here, actually, the motor. I just have this uh, little flower-looking blade on there. We're going to use the uh, trim pot to set a variable voltage. Last video, we just adjusted the voltage of the power supply. This is a 500 ohm trim pot, so a very low value uh, trim pot because we need to get a lot more current than we would get with the 10,000 ohm trim pot right there. Coming out of the uh, trim pot here, wired as a voltage divider, you can see we have the supply voltage across the two ends of the resistive element, and then there's a wiper that uh, right now is to the negative supply right there. Going to, uh, there's a third terminal there, going to this 100 ohm resistor right there. That is to limit current when I turn the trim pot all the way up to the uh, positive supply right there. So now it's not letting any current through because it's coming to a row with nothing else. We're going to connect this transistor here. So it's a lot larger than the TO92 package transistors. This is the uh, TO220 right there. I don't know if you'll be able to see the part number or not. Let's see if I can get closer. It's about as close as I can go before it will get uh, blurry. But this is the uh, TIP. I got it from this kit right here, 41C. And when you're looking at the flat side, there's no heat sink on there. I had to attach that. This uh, includes some heat sinks, this kit. But in any case, left pin there, looking at the flat side is base, middle pin is collector, and the right pin is the emitter. We can go up to six amps. And in my uh, test in my last video, I saw that it's easy to get somewhere close to about two amps with my fan. That's why I grabbed uh, this transistor right there. It will get hot though at uh, two amps. I don't know how big of a heat sink you need, but uh, this is the type of heat sink that I have. So it is what I'm gonna use. I don't know where that transistor went right now. There it is. So this heat sink right there, pretty straightforward. We are going to uh, turn it this way. So the emitter is on the left, collector in the middle, base on the right. If I turn it this way, emitter is at the top where that uh, resistor is. And then the base, or the collector, I mean, the middle pin is to the positive supply. And then the emitter down at the bottom is in the same row as that jumper right there. Coming to our fan, we will uh, pull back. And uh, actually it's a motor. It's not really a good fan. These aren't really tilted, they're soft, but uh, it works like a fan. And then we come to the uh, power supply right here. It is set to three volts. So what we're gonna do, this is wired as an emitter follower. As I turn the trim pot towards the more positive side, right now it's to uh, ground, the uh, voltage will go up. And uh, it's kind of hard to uh, show everything, but in any case, Alligator clip fell off. This is just a temporary connection. So there you go. Let's uh, do this before anything else falls off. And uh, slowly turning up, you're gonna see current going up on the uh, power supply. Hopefully you can see that. We're getting a lot more current. I grabbed uh, the uh, trim pot off of that foam there. That's why that's there. I got a number of different values there. 500 I think was the lowest. So in any case, there you can see that uh, as I turn the trim pot towards the more positive side, the uh, speed of the fan goes up and we have more current. Now there is the base to emitter drop, so we're gonna lose about 0.6 volts as far as the current going through the uh, motor. The motor is actually what sets the current. We're just setting a voltage, the trim pot telling the NPN bipolar junction transistor emitter follower what voltage to put across the fan, but we're losing about 0.6 volts from the uh, base two emitter, just like the smaller version of the transistors. So in any case, that's really about it. I thought I would just do a quick uh, demonstration of this circuit. We looked at the uh, lower power versions before, and it's really no different. Just we're using higher power uh, components, less resistance and uh, more heat uh, dissipation so that we can handle higher wattage. So hope that makes sense. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I post on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.